But here I say hi. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. And, um, I'm still in Nigeria and I'm enjoying it. So today I decided to bring a self-care vlog. I am due for self-care and by self-care I mean um, waxing, body scrubbing, massaging and everything, pedicure, manicure, hair. So the goal of this vlog is to bring, um, show you with you guys what a typical self-care routine would be for me in Nigeria and the cost if possible and the steps, you know, and compare it to what um, it is there in, U in the U.S. For the most part in the U.S. I do my self-care myself and you know just a few times or you know i would go to the professionals like when it comes to monies and pedi and everything so the goal of this vlog is to just share some of these things with you guys today i have an appointment for 11 o'clock i am going to drop the kids off at my parents and then i head over to the self-care the, the spa that i have booked is a traditional spa they offer all services and yeah I'm not going to mention their names because um, it's not a sponsored vlog, um, it's not a sponsored post. I am paying for everything myself, nothing is free, so I'm not sharing their names um, or the brand names, but I'm just going to give you guys price point and how much I, had, I spent and my experience and how much I like the place. And yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy this vlog. Subscribe and let's get going. Yeah, soon as scrubbing. Eh? Oh, to you when she need to marry.
hey guys so i am here to update this vlog this self-care vlog so i today is the second day and definitely going to be the last day i went to make my hair do get paddy paddy get paddies and mine is done and it was just a very very long day i went with my older sister uh, we went late agreed she had to get her hair relocked i had to Thank God I actually even loosened my hair before I left because my sister was like, we should, when we get there, like yesterday when we talked, she was like, when I, when we get there today, oh, they can lose the hair and all that. So I, I was tempted to do that, but I don't like it when people lose my hair. I like to lose my hair myself. So when I woke up this morning, I got on that, I lost it. I did not condition or anything because I was not I'm only due for co-washing actually but i decided not to co-wash i'll just to make it i just made it as it is and as it was and you know i'll co-wash it within the week i just i made just plain shuku with my hair is what i did um i've been eating to do shuku for a very long time so that was what i did oh my goodness i'm so tired and i'm yearning for you guys but I, um, the most intriguing part that I wanted to share, if you're not African, if you are not Nigerian, you won't understand how um, affordable, you won't know how affordable it is to get self-care done. Pedis and Manis in the U.S. for where I make mine, get mine done in the States, the basic is $40, where I get mine done. The basic is $40. If you decide to get a gel nail polish like I just did now you will be spending I think 55 55 or 65 I think 55 then if you're going to do powder then you're thinking about 65 and above if you I'm sorry it's crying in case you pick up any guys um, so if you decide to do some kind of artwork and all those things on your nail decor and everything then accessory basically i'm tired then you'll be thinking of spending above 65 dollars so i got just basic gel done so okay let me fast forward to yesterday yesterday i did um i went for the traditional spa full body waxing body scrubbing dohan which is body um, body smoking you guys already know i do all this and i share it on the channel like i do it myself when I'm alone when I'm back in when I'm in the States but since I'm not in the States I want to get every treatment that I can get and not put myself through any stress so the price for the full body um, work that I did was supposed to be 33,000 and some change and she had a discount going on on her website I ended up paying 18,600 including tax so that was very very affordable because when you put that to dollars 33,000 let's assume 30,000 or 35 that is roughly 60 uh, that is roughly 50 let's say 53 dollars that is roughly 53 dollars for full body waxing in the US full one arm wax is 10 dollars one arm 10 dollars Full half leg 15 full legs 20 and pit 5 5 10 so when you put all that together full body waxing in the US should be around a hundred and something dollars so compared to $50 that is like half the price or even yeah like half the price let's put it at that and you're not getting like you getting the right you know body waxing like you can't even compare what you would get um here with what you get over there because this is way better then the full it comes with full body scrubbing as well i got my full body scrubbing i got the dohan then i got a complimentary facial done that was the only part i could actually film because um that was the last thing i wasn't even expecting it and they said there was a complimentary facial for um, for the package that I picked so I picked the two in one massage something something I that was what they named it 
So that is 33. Let's assume I spent 18, then um, 19,000 Naira. So fast forward to today. For today, my pedi and money, my pedi pure was 5,000 Naira, which is like nine, let me see, $9. My money was $5,000 only because it was 5,000 Naira. The reason why it was 5,000 Naira was because um, they dissolved my powder. I had powder nail on. So they dissolved it and that was 2,000 Naira to dissolve and 3,000 Naira for the gel. So that was 5,000. That is petty money is 10,000 Naira. 10,000 Naira then I made my hair and my hair was 10,000 Naira as well. And um, what else did I do? I got my brows done 3,000 Naira. So I spent 25,000 Naira over there. 25,000 Naira plus 33,000 that is uh, 58,000 Naira. No? Yes, 58,000 Naira. Let's say 60,000 Naira is all I have spent, including what I tipped the people that worked on me today. And I think I spent that 2,000 Naira in tips. So, 2,000, let's assume 60,000 Naira was all I spent for self care yesterday today and with the current exchange rate that is hundred dollars flat in the u.s when i go get petty money gel um gel done and my brows waxed brow waxing is ten dollars i spent i spent the entire hundred dollars to do that so in comparison i'm getting more for less over here than over there in the u.s and that is what i miss so much about being in like not being in nigeria if when i'm not in nigeria and i'm over there i think one of the biggest thing and the mister knows that the biggest thing for me even before we got married was self-care pampering myself pump taking care of my body and being in the u.s he knows how much that affects me how much it, I, it almost it is almost as if that is only that is is suffering like i'm suffering for not being able to get all these things done and i like i when i told him yesterday that i was going to do my we call it gyarin gk he was like am i doing the whole three days one week session and everything i was like no i'm just doing a day session and i'm looking forward to putting in three or four more before we leave if time permits even if it's not um you know just to go in to get my body scrub to get massages get as much massages you know that pamper body pamper just like my business business name body pamper please done then yeah i'll be so grateful to get all it, all of this so i just wanted to share this with you guys i really love the complimentary facial i got yesterday if you can tell my face is looking so beautiful like i was going to book for a med spa but what they used yesterday are things that i'm totally familiar with are things that i naturally would use on my face the dilka the spirulina is this spirulina they call it the seaweed um face mask the black soap to wash my face all those things are very familiar to my skin and i did not react one bit i asked questions um because they did a complimentary facial for me i am going to call their name it's called cleopatra spa beauty spa in abuja i actually filmed a reels i'm going to upload it i wasn't expecting it i probably th i'm sure they do it for all of most of their clients or they don't even know who i am so but because they did that i am indeed grateful and that is the spa i initially did not want to call any brand name and i met a very sweet person today the lady that twist my brows for me her name is is it princess adama yeah um 31 glow 31st glow is her name on instagram you guys reach out to her if you want to get your makeup done for an event um she's a makeup artist as well reach out to her she was really sweet you know and yeah i tagged out my instagram um story if you follow me on instagram you must have seen that so if you're in abuja and you want to get your brow twist she twist my own and i think this is the right place to end this vlog i am exhausted i am tired i need to put in a content for a brand tomorrow and i need to finalize that my hair by the way is actually very beautiful ignore this that is the problem with when you have hair all the way here 
but my mom really liked my hair she kept on looking at it and i'm so in love with it as well but anyways thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed it i know there was really nothing much you know in the entire process because it's a very private and personal process but it was the price point i really wanted to emphasize on so that you guys know if you're moving to africa you are going to enjoy it it's just the insecurity that is spoiling our country but nigeria is just a place to be it's just the perfect place to be in africa and i love it and i love i'm loving my state so far so see you guys in my next video bye and stay blessed and subscribe if you're just seeing this face because i'm bringing more vlogs it's like a family tree.